morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video and if you're one of my returning subscribers thank you so much for being here and welcome back to my channel there's a new day that will come again to everyone it is bright and early actually I woke up early today it is a day off for me um, but I woke up I think it was around 7 it is now just a little bit after 8 o'clock and today I have a lot of stuff that I need to do so I am going to be heading into town because I have tons of stuff that I need to be doing I'm I want to be back at a decent time like I want to be back early enough because I have two things that I need to bake for upcoming videos. You guys, the, these recipes will blow your mind, absolutely blow your mind. So um, I might have posted one already, not 100% sure what my posting is going to be. I'm just kind of recording when I can. Um, so today is a keto day. So, so excited. I love my keto days, especially coming, um, doing this protein sparing modified fasting. I appreciate my keto days even more so now and today I'm keeping it really really basic but I want to share a new recipe with you guys that I have made and it's going to be delicious it's gonna taste like fall let's just put it that way it's gonna be absolutely amazing so stay tuned to see what I eat in a day on keto so I have been making my coffee a hot coffee lately because it is starting to get cold out here um, out here <laughs> in southern Alberta in Canada um, I don't know we only have like technically two seasons I don't know it goes straight from summer to winter sometimes so it is very chilly out I want to say it's like seven degrees outside <laughs> I'm not sure what that is in um, for American language but it's freaking cold um, but anyways I have been making hot coffee again so I have been hooked on instant coffee. As a lot of you know, I buy this from the dollar store. Um, I don't, I'm not a coffee condenser by any means, but I really like this kind. It tastes really, really creamy. So actually next I'm going to put in my sugar substitute. I also get this from the dollar store as well too. I cannot handle the aftertaste of stevia. I have tried it so many times. I have even tried baking with it. I've tried it in my drinks. I cannot do the taste. Um, so I'm going to add those two packets. Then I'm going to add a half a scoop of my perfect keto chocolate collagen. My favorite is the cinnamon toast, which I do need to reorder, but um, I kind of wanted to use this up first before I ordered any more. So chocolate, perfect keto collagen. Then I put in a splash of the peppermint bark with the skinny syrups, one of my favorites. And I like drinking these sort of drinks like all year round. Um, I have to start getting into the pumpkin flavored ones though because it is becoming fall. So maybe I'll have a look to see if I can find any new ones maybe at Winners or Marshalls. So Winners is like a TJ Maxx in the States. I'm going to add two tablespoons of my heavy whipping cream. And then I am going to add two tablespoons of my silk half and half. Um, this is oat and coconut. And for two tablespoons, it is two carbs. So really, really good. I, I feel like it adds really, really good flavor. Um, as I mentioned in my videos, I'm allergic to all nuts. So it kind of really limits me to what I can actually have for creamer that's low calorie and low carb. So that is what I stick to. And that is what I've been having for my coffee lately. Um, I just throw this in the side of my Ninja coffee maker on the frother and froth it all up. So let's go and do that. Today, since I am on the go, I am going to be taking a travel mug. This is the travel mug that I got in Banff when I was there. This is um, where my daughter works. So of course I had to get something from there to support her made a little bit of a mess that I'll clean up, but I am taking my coffee to go today. 
So I am in town right now. I have made the trip into town. As you guys know, we do live like 20 minutes outside of a major city where I do most of my shopping because I just live in a small little hamlet. Um, so I came into town for a lot of things, but my first stop was actually to pick up some of the egg white protein powder. So I have picked it up. This is the kind that we usually get in Canada. Um, I just ran out and I just made an order um, with iHerb. I have that, I'll link that down in the description where I ordered it from, but I got a really good deal. I ended up getting the five pound bucket of it and I got 20% off. So I think it was like 60 some dollars that I paid for a five pound bigger bucket through iHerb. And I think that's where I'm regularly going to be getting my egg white protein powder. It is a really, really good price because this, well, actually today this was customer appreci appreciation. So this is about $40 here in Canada and it is a 500 gram bag. That is it. So this lasts me a long time, mind you. Like this is the second bag that I bought and I have made tons of stuff in the last month, but um, it is expensive. And if I can get it for cheaper, you know, cause I'm, I am planning on making it even in my maintenance mode um, because I do have like what, 10 pounds or so before I get to my maintenance weight again. But I am still going to be making that because even when I transition to my maintenance, which I think might be fully keto, I might work in on a protein sparing modified fast day once or twice a week because I just might, I don't know. I haven't really thought about my plan yet. Um, but I picked up that, so I got it for $35 today because it was customer appreciation day today. So not too, too bad. Like I said, it'll last me a long time. And my order that I did order through iHerb won't be here for, I think it's two weeks. So I'll have to keep that in mind. This was the first time that I ordered from iHerb, um, but it does take about two weeks for shipping um, I'm in Canada, so um, the company I believe is from the States. The shipping over $50 was $2 in some sense. Really, really inexpensive for shipping, but it just takes a long time. So this will get me through. You guys know I'll always use it anyways. It's definitely not a waste, but I had picked that up. So now let's head to Costco and spend a ton of money. Yay! Not yay. <laughs> I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes i'm losing sight all right so this is just a quick overview of what i am getting i will have a full grocery haul for you um coming up probably either sunday or monday but i'm not quite done yet but i just wanted to give you a little update and also and i'm also going to insert some pictures of the prices of pork even at costco i am shocked so we live in canada so remember that for your exchange but the price of pork has gone up so much. So I'm so happy that we're gonna be getting um, a pig to butcher. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, it is, today is Wednesday and we ended up getting a pig that we are going to butcher. And we get it on Friday and, which this is when that video is going to be going up, is on Friday and we are gonna be butchering it in the next couple days so i'm so excited but the prices of pork are atrocious right now so i will keep you guys posted i might be able to vlog a little bit as far as um how much i can put on youtube with butchering our pig but i'm so excited I'm so excited Deep down inside alive, I can hide update for you guys i just went into the dollar store grabbed a few things um i always like to get their um snacks from there like um since zoe is starting college and jimmy always likes snacks um i tend to pick them up there before i go to the grocery store because usually i can get like um it's in the back but you know i get a whole bunch of like boxed granola bars or um, Zoe really likes those celebration cookies and they're like pre-packaged um, there's six of them in a in a box like six packages in a box that I can get for like a dollar fifty so um, and since she is going to school to college she wants to take stuff like to kind of go and to have snacks with because Zoe is 
she's my saver. She does not spend money on anything. So um, she plans on taking her lunch, her snacks, not eating too much at that cafeteria and such. And such. She is definitely my saver. Um, so I picked up just a few things there. I also stopped at Nutter's. And so Nutter's here in Canada is, is kind of like a health food store here. You can buy a lot of different um, supplements there as far as vitamins, but they always have a food selection of things that you really can't find anywhere else. They also have bulk for spices and such so I always get I can't find these anywhere else in Canada but I always get the 4505 pork rinds these are so good but you guys they are ten dollars here in Canada I can't we don't have them at our Costco we don't have them anywhere else I have looked everywhere and they are the best the best pork rinds that I have found but I do get them once in a while. That that lasts me a while, probably over a week, I would say. It's not like I have pork rinds every day. I always wanted to try the Redmond's Real Salt, so I ended up getting a bigger one of that. There was only a dollar difference between like the smaller one and this size one, so I ended up getting that. So I always hear a lot of people um, rave about this. I usually use pink Himalayan salt, but I thought I would give that a try. And then I just needed refills on my minced garlic and my minced onions, so I picked up those from Nutters as well too. So. Uh, oh, and I also picked up my Zevia black cherry. I like these once in a while. I tend to get um, my Diet a w root beer. That's my favorite. I, I don't mind Zevia once in a while, but it is expensive and sometimes it leaves an after aftertaste and <laughs> I find they're very, very carbonated for me. Like I have to open mine and just like let it sit for like 15 minutes because it's really, really carbonated for me. But I do like the black cherry Zevia, so I did buy one of those as well to, to drink. So it is now 11.20. I just have to go and get groceries from the grocery store, which is Superstore here. Um, I always get groceries there. Sometimes I shop at Sobeys, but um, more or less the prices are always best at Superstore. And then I have to meet up with Zoe because she is getting blood work done at noon. So she wants me to meet her there um, for that as well too. So I don't know if I should go to the grocery store um, because if anybody knows me, I, I'm early for absolutely everything. I hate being on time. I have to be at least 10 minutes early for anywhere that I go. So I have to get some cherries and plums from the fruit stand here in Medicine Hat for Jimmy. So I think I'm gonna do that and then after I meet with Zoe, then the only thing left I have to do is just get groceries and I'll still be home at a decent time because I haven't eaten yet today. And I know what I wanna eat, I just wanna keep it really, really simple eating today. Um, but I don't wanna eat until I get home. For the last year and a half, I have been talking about buying a pig. Now, not a pet pig. I mean buying a pig to uh, butcher, okay? Uh, so I've been thinking about it for a while. Jimmy's always like, okay, well, look into it, blah, blah, blah. And I never really did. But I was so motivated the other day to find a pig for Jimmy to butcher and for us to get pork. And I found a pig. I found a 200-pound pig which costs us a dollar 20 a pound so we will be paying 240 dollars for a pig and we will bring it home um it is going to be killed and we do have to gut it when we get there which is no big deal we're hunters we kill and gut elk and deer i'm sorry if that's tmi but it's just the truth we love hunting grass-fed meat organic meat we know what we're getting we butcher it ourselves we know that there's no additives there's no preservatives there's nothing it is 100 percent you know good food so um i found a pig we are paying 240 dollars for this pig and he said the farmer said we should get about 150 pounds of pork out of this pig which i am thrilled about so i found one message message jimmy and Jimmy was like, let me get back to you on that. I'm going to research it a bit because, you know, most of the anatomy of an animal is relatively the same, but he just wanted to see if he would be able to do it. So not even 10 minutes later, he's like, oh yeah, that doesn't look too, too bad. <laughs> Famous last words for Jimmy, I'm telling you. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm so happy that he's at least going to give it a try. And you know what? $240, like, yes, it's a lot of money, but the price of pork 
is so expensive. I mentioned to you when I was in Costco, I took some clips of the price of pork here in Canada. Pork used to be an inexpensive meat here and it is skyrocketing. I don't know what is going on, if it's COVID related or what, but it is, cr it is crazy. Like everything is expensive. The ground, the ribs, the like everything is expensive, which I just don't get. So I said, if we can get 150 pounds of pork, and that lasts us a year because we aren't huge pork people, but um, you guys know I love my bacon and I love like ham. I love both of those things. Anyways, I've talked on too much. I'm gonna go and get some cherries and plums for Jimmy and then meet up with Zoe. So I will catch you guys in the next clip. I'm here at the blood collection place and I'm just waiting for Zoe. See, she said she should be here in a couple minutes. So we are just going to get that done. I ended up picking up the cherries and the plums for Jimmy and get Zoe to get the blood work done. And then I'm off to go and get groceries. And then I think that's my last stop. So we will say, see you guys in the next All right, clip. I am home from town. It is just after three o'clock, but I wanted to show you guys Actually, you know what? I'm going to re record a separate video for a grocery haul. So you will see that probably on either Sunday or Monday. But I am just going to record that right now and then post that, like I said, on Sunday or Monday. So you guys can watch that. Um, but yeah, I just got home. I'm going to record it. And then after that, I'm going to make meal number one because I haven't even eaten yet today. So I'm going to do that. And then I will see you once I make meal number one. So I am just keeping it really, really simple for my first meal. And I'm going to have some bacon that I just got and three eggs. So let's get started. And that is going to be meal number one today. All right, so this is going to be meal number one. I have four slices of bacon and three eggs that are poached soft. I will have the macros on the screen for the calories and the net carbs. All right, everyone, this part of the video is sponsored by my good friends at Freezer Fit. They have been sponsoring a few of my videos and I absolutely just love their concept of their new company. So they mainly focus on batch cooking. They have a whole bunch of different cuisines that you can choose from on their website. And one of those is keto. What you guys know, keto is what I follow for a lifestyle. I have lost over a hundred pounds following keto. And whenever I get an opportunity to get new recipes, try new recipes, I'm all over that. So the main focus is to save time, save you money, and also to create healthy meals. So that is why Freezer Fit has created a website in order to do batch cooking. So all at once, cook 10 meals at once. You will save yourself time throughout the week. Your meal will be already prepared. What you do is you just do a whole bunch of batch cooking at once, put those then in the freezer and then you can enjoy them at a later time. So there is no thought about what is going to be for supper or I forgot to take out meat to go with dinner. You just literally grab it from the freezer and a lot of their meals is literally you can cook from the frozen state. They also have recipes that you can choose on how you wanna cook them, whether it's going to be in the crock pot, in the oven or in your instant pot. They have, they have a ton of recipes for different kind of cu cuisine, whether it's Mexican, American, Italian, huge variety of recipes that they have on their website and also wanted to mention on their website which i have linked down in the description they are offering a free cookbook which is a 19 dollars value which you guys will get for free all that you need to do in order to get your free keto cookbook is you need to register for their online class and participate in their online class and watch all of them making all of their keto batch meals and then after that you will be getting your free keto cookbook so make sure that you do that i i will have that link down in the description for you guys so make sure you go and do it so a couple weeks ago i did some of the batch cooking off of the freezer fit website and i actually ended up making a pumpkin pie recipe that is keto and that is what I'm going to make for dessert tonight. I took it out of the freezer yesterday, so it defrosted in my fridge overnight, and now we are going to make it. First, you are going to need to preset your oven to 350, and let's get started. It's literally going to take me like not even five minutes to prepare it, and then we are going to put it in the oven. 
So I am going to be using my new pans that I got, my silicone ones. I said I'm going to use this for all baking, whether it's keto or high protein days. I always have the link down below. I got a huge set for, I want to say it was like $26, $28, but it literally came like um, with seven pieces, some measuring spoons, some spatulas and other things. So make sure that you check it out below. Super, super deal. And this is going to be my pumpkin pie, you guys. It's gonna be easy as that. So as you can see when I made it, I had labeled it keto pumpkin pie. It was actually fat flat. I took all the air out of it and laid it flat in my freezer, took it out in the fridge to defrost, and then I wrote down the instructions on the bag. So preheat your oven to 350, and then it says for a six by three pan, which I do not have that size of pan. I'm gonna try it in a nine by nine pan. Hopefully it's still gonna turn out. It might just be a little thinner, which is okay. And then what we are going to do is in a 13 by nine pan, we are gonna fill that half full of water and then we are gonna put our pumpkin pie that is going to be in here on top and then it is going to bake for 40 minutes. So let's do that. All right, so this is my nine by 13 pan. It is about half full of water. I am just going to set that in there and then it's going to be so easy that all I literally have to do is dump this in my pan. And that is going to be it and then we are going to throw it in a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. All right, you guys, this is going to be my dinner for tonight. I have one of my burgers that I always get and I topped it with some cheese. And then I measured out 30 grams of cheese. So this was what was left over that I just didn't want to totally smother my burger. And so I just put it on the side since the macros were already accounted for. So I will have the macros on the screen for this meal. I kept it pretty clean keto today. I honestly wasn't that hungry today. It was kind of weird, but this is what I'm having for meal number two. All right, so this is the pumpkin pie. It looks absolutely delicious. I just topped it with some um, whipping cream and a little bit of cinnamon. So let's give it a taste test. All right, let's give this a taste test. So this is going to be perfect. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> this is going to be perfect for like fall time, especially Thanksgiving. Definitely um, great for your keto get together. I make everything pumpkin, like you'll be seeing a lot more pumpkin recipes. You'll be seeing a lot more pumpkin recipes from me in the near future for sure. But let's give it a taste test. Wow, the flavor is actually pretty spot on for pumpkin pie. That's good. So make sure that you check out Freezer Fit's website. I will have it linked down below and that is gonna conclude my day of eating. So I will have the total calories and the total net carbs on the screen for today. So thank you so much for joining me, doing all my errands today and seeing what I have on a day, a full day of eating keto. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.